Having talked about representing positive as well as negative integers, we now need to talk about how computers represent fractional or real numbers. Recall the decimal number system where digits after the decimal point have lower and lower place values as we move toward the right. So in this example, the 8 after the decimal point has a place value of 0 0.1 or 10 power minus 1. The next digit 7 has a place value of 10 power minus 2 and so on. We can extend the same idea to binary numbers too, where bits after the decimal point have weights of 2 power minus 1, 2 power minus 2 and so on. Can you tell the decimal value of this binary fractional number? To reflect the above scheme, we can have a simple system which goes by the name of fixed point system where the location of the decimal is pre-decided. So in this example, we have 8 bits overall to represent a number with the first 5 bits for the integer part and the next 3 bits for the fractional part. Although it would be easy to do arithmetic in this system, computers today do not use it because the range of possible values we can represent is too small. And the computation in this system has fixed absolute precision whereas what is desirable is good relative precision. So computers today use what is known as the floating point system as opposed to the fixed point system. As the name indicates, the position of the point or dot in the notation is not predecided. An important concept in this context is the notion of the normalized scientific notation of any number. In the normalized notation, we have exactly one digit before the decimal point and the actual position of the decimal point is adjusted by multiplying it with a suitable power of the base. A couple of examples are shown here for the normalized notation in decimal. The notion of normalized scientific notation also carries over to binary numbers. A couple of examples are shown here. In the normalized scientific notation, the first part is known as the mantissa or the significant and the exponent of the base is the second part is known as well the exponent. To store a fractional or real number, a computer stores the bits of the mantissa and exponent parts separately. There is an international standard for representing fractional numbers in computers called the IEEE 754 standard. This standard specifies how fractional numbers can be stored using 32 bits as well as using 64 bits. These are called single and double precision representations respectively and, the, and correspond to float and double in C, C++ respectively. You can look up further details of these standards online if you are interested. What is important to take forward from this video is the notion of floating point representation and how computers and programming languages support single as well as double precision representations.